teacher talking sports, what it does, what it do, how we live. And yesterday, the initial list of 150 players that are eligible for the Pro Football Hall of Fame class of 2025 were revealed. In that list, 16 players were first time eligible guys so in this video i'm going to take a look at guys i believe out of those 16 that will definitely be getting in the hall of fame then i have a couple guys that might get in the hall of fame and then a bunch that probably will not get into the hall of fame let's start with five guys who i think will most certainly get into the Hall of Fame. Now, when I say this, and it was actually 167 modern era players. But anyhow, when I say definitely, I do not mean that they're definitely going to get in on the first ballot. Just at some point, they're going to get in. A guy like Luke Keekley didn't have a lengthy career, but we saw Patrick Willis get in. And Keekley is a former Defensive Player of the Year. Terrell Suggs. Uh, Amongst the all-time leaders in sacks, Adam Vinatieri, yes, kicker, is not very represented in the Hall of Fame, but many see Vinatieri as the greatest kicker of all time and definitely numerous clutch field goals uh, throughout his career. Eli Manning, now, I know there's some on the fence, but he's going to get in, whether it's first ballot or not, two-time Super Bowl MVP, two-time Super Bowl winner, and, you know, both the Super Bowls he won was against the guy that most considered the best quarterback of all time, and that lengthy uh, streak of consecutive starts, and a guy like Marshall Yonda, I was close to putting him as a maybe um, guard, not necessarily the most represented position in the uh, Hall of Fame, uh, but, you know, key member of a Super Bowl winning team with the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, I believe he was named to eight Pro Bowls and numerous All Pros, so I don't think he's going to get in first ballot, probably. Too many guys, but uh, Yonda, I think, gets in eventually. Now, my two maybes, I might lean towards yes, but it's I don't think it's a sure thing. Starting with Marshawn Lynch. Now, Marshawn Lynch was uh, definitely one of the more outspoken and well-known running backs from the uh, late 2000s to early to mid 2010s, uh, but you know, just barely over 10,000 career rushing yards. We see a few guys with um, around his yardage or even more, Fred Taylor, Corey Dillon, Otis Anderson, Ricky Williams, guys like that with over 10,000 career rushing yards that are not in the Hall of Fame. Yes, he did have that first Super Bowl win. Um, you know, maybe if they gave him the ball at the one-yard line the second time, uh, they would have won back-to-back -back Super Bowls. But he does have 85 rushing touchdowns. If I had to guess, I think he would get in. Uh, but I don't think it's certain. And Earl Thomas, again, another guy I think probably gets into the Hall of Fame. Although, you know, his career wasn't super lengthy. Ten seasons, seven of them reaching the Pro Bowl. Three-time first-team All-Pro. I think being known as one of the Legion of Boom guys helps him get in. Probably him and Richard Sherman, a guy like Cam Chancellor, uh, did, just didn't play long enough. Of course, won a Super Bowl with the Seahawks. Uh, and then a bunch of guys in the probably not. And um, not saying not these guys weren't very good. They were all very good. They're all a very good, uh, very good in my eyes. Uh, probably the best chance out of any of these guys might be Joe Staley. Uh, you know, he played a premier position, left tackle, named to six Pro Bowls, but was never a first team all pro. I think uh, that might hurt him. So I would lean towards him not getting in. Uh, someone like Travis Frederick, unfortunately his career ended early. Ryan Khalil, very hard for a center to get in. Uh, Keeb Talib, bunch of interceptions in his career, but not enough. Antoine Bethea played a very lengthy time. Uh, not Hall of Fame worthy, though. And uh, who else we got? Darren Sproles, one of the more versatile guys in the league during his time, but uh, not prolific enough. Demarius Thomas, rest in peace. Definitely an awesome wide receiver. One of the best in... Denver Broncos history, but short of 10,000 receiving yards. I 
not don't see him getting in. Uh, then two tight ends, Vernon Davis and Delaney Walker uh, had a few good seasons, but tight end also another position not well represented in the Hall of Fame, and no one's really considering either of those two to be uh, among the best of the best tight ends in NFL history. But do you agree with my groupings of the 16 guys who are on the Hall of Fame ballot for the first time? Which do you think get in? Which do you think eventually get in? Well, um, you know, if they don't get in first ballot, which do you think certainly have no chance? Anyhow, don't forget to subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend to subscribe. Like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications. I'm out.